The height of this box is y equals 0 0.2 meters. An iron bearing is launched horizontally from the top of the box with velocity v sub x equals 5 meters per second. What is the drag force, Fd, due to the air friction? The drag force is commonly written as kV squared, or one half times the density of the fluid in which the object is moving, times the drag coefficient, times either a cross-sectional area or a surface area, times the velocity squared. The fluid density, rho, changes with height y as rho equals rho zero, e to the minus by, where rho zero equal 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter is the density at ground level. Usually the object is moving in air or water, but the equations are the same for objects moving in any fluid, no matter if it is a liquid or gas, the physics is the same. The drag coefficient changes with velocity or Reynolds number, Re, equals rho LV over mu, where mu is the viscosity or stickiness of the fluid. Peanut butter is more viscous than water. For air, mu equals 0 0.018 newtons per meter per second. L is the size of the flow. For Reynolds number less than 2 times 10 to the 5th, Vogel reports that the drag coefficient goes as 24 over the Reynolds number plus 6 over 1 plus the square root of the Reynolds number plus 0 0.4. The density of air changes with height as rho equals rho 0 e to the minus by, dropping to half its ground level value at a height of 5,500 meters. So the density rho at 5,500 meters is rho zero e to the minus 5,500 b, and that's one half rho zero. Count to rho zero and solve for b equals 1.26 times 10 to the minus four per meter. Now that we know b, we calculate the density at a height of y equals 0.2 meters, and we get 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter which is what we had to begin with. So I guess we don't have to bother adjusting the density of air when the height is 0.2 meters. The spherical bearing has radius r equal 1.25 centimeter equals 0.0125 meters. Cross-sectional area a equals pi r squared equals 4.9 times 10 to the minus four square meters. And mass m equals the density of iron times the volume of the bearing equals the density of iron times four thirds pi r cubed, and we get 0 0.0638 kilogram. The weight of the object changes with height because w equals mg equals big G m times the mass of the earth divided by the square of the radius of the earth and the height y. For y equals 0.2 meters above the surface of the earth we have g equals 9.8 meters per second squared. This is unchanged, so I guess we didn't have to bother adding 0.2 meter to the denominator. For the velocity v equal five meters per second, the Reynolds number is rho lv over mu. We'll take the length to be the diameter of the sphere, l equal two r, and we get a Reynolds number 8.96. Turbulence begins at a Reynolds number of one. We calculate the drag coefficient, CD equals 4.58. Then K equals one half rho CDA equals 0.0145 newtons per meter per second squared. And the drag force, FD equals KV squared equals 0.036 newtons. If the flight lasts 0.2 seconds, then the x component of velocity approximately changes from five meters per second to v sub x equals vx zero minus axt. We find a sub x as the drag force over the mass, and we get v sub x equals 4.9 meters per second. We didn't really have to bother including the air friction unless we we're designing rockets or precise mechanical systems. In this course, this tedious calculation of air friction only clutters our goal of understanding the meaning of position, velocity, acceleration, and force.